Hello YouTube, Real Creole is here, and as you can see, today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than what we normally talk about. I've been able to get a hold of myself, new grill, it's Primo. Let's take a look and see what's underneath. Now as I take the cover off of this, you notice it's a Primo oval. <clears throat> And uh, I was able to get this just yesterday, last night in fact, for what I think is a really good price. So it is obviously used, but I just couldn't pass up the good deal. I've been wanting a Kamado or a big green egg style grill for the longest, longest time. And finally I have one and this guy here is a beast. So it's not perfect. But I think for the price that I paid for it, it's going to be excellent. You'll notice it's got the temperature gauge, it's got the, it's got the lid here. And I'm zooming on this here just a little bit to show you. Actually, I'll show you right now. How about that? Notice something interesting? You guys read that? It says Big Green Egg. So the guy that I bought it from, he replaced the top with this, this Big Green Egg unit. So let's open it up and take a look inside. As I said, it's not perfect, but it's an excellent deal. So take a look at this. We're gonna get some close-ups so you can see what it came with. I'm excited about this. It came with a pizza stone. You notice that's the Primo pizza stone. Hopefully you can read that. Everything's been sitting in storage for a while, so it needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. And I put this together last night while it was dark, and I'm hoping that it will really work out for my needs. So, let's see here. Should have zoom in on the great, this is the Primo Oval XL. I don't have to tell you guys everything about this because you can look it up, but you know it's got the two different grill surfaces. It has the heat deflectors inside. Now one of the things that's concerning me, and the guy told me this up front, he said that it had a crack firebox okay well how cracked is crack well it turns out the thing's broken in two I've never cooked on one of these but I'm gonna cook on this in just a little bit and we'll see so I brought you in a little tighter so you can really see what we got going on with this grill and the condition that it's in as I said it is used but I think it's gonna be great for all kinds of cooking applications. So I just want to move some of this and I want you to see this firebox. Unfortunately, firebox is not in good condition, but maybe we'll contact Primo and see what they can tell us. Oh, take a look at that. The gasket is shot. So that's gonna to need to be addressed at some point also. Uh, how you like that? So you know something has been well used. Grills are meant to be cooked on, so looks like this guy was actually using his for its intended purpose. Take a look here, move all of this. Now I had to take this apart to get it home, and I put it together, as I already said, in the dark. And let's see if I can get the camera to pick up on this. It came with a lot of great accessories. It's got the divider, which is really, really nice. I want you to see that this firebox has a major crack. So it's just flat out broken here and here, broken into two pieces. But I'm gonna try cook on it, see if I can get some good results. So I got heat deflectors or uh, drip pan holders, I guess, here in place. And that sort of fits, I guess. You can put it right there. Maybe if you backed it up a little bit, you know it would fall in here, but let's not do that. We'll try and put it right in there. I have some charcoal. I'm gonna fire this up before very long and see if we can get cooking. I'm concerned, of course, about this gasket or what's left of the gasket. Take a look. But we're talking the outside, outdoor cooking. Shouldn't be too difficult. See if that'll even stay put when I open and close the lid. Okay. If you're unfamiliar with these things, the weight and just how solid and hefty they are is astounding. 
that's one of the biggest differences between this and say something like this guy over here this Weber as you know I'm a big fan of the Weber but I promised the missus that I'm gonna get rid of one of these and this guy is probably gonna be gone soon so we'll try and do some comparison between the two see what we can come up with uh, I got some plans for dinner tonight so we'll see how it turns out